If you want to produce a great video, you're going to need great sounding audio along with your picture. In part one of How to Hide Lavaliers, we showed you how to use sticky triangles made from one inch cloth camera tape. Another technique that works very well involves using a strip of moleskin and a safety pin. The safety pin is quick and easy to attach to the inside of wardrobe and the soft, gentle texture of the moleskin reduces clothing friction while its padding insulates the mic from vibration. Although not quite as efficient as the sticky triangles for eliminating stubborn clothing noise, the moleskin rig is definitely a lot faster and simpler to deploy. These pin-on mounts are great for t-shirts, hat brims, beach wear, athletic clothing, and all sorts of costuming. Just as with the sticky triangles, the first step is to form a small loop of cable close to the mic head about the size of a nickel. This loop is extremely important because it serves to block the cable noise and vibration, much like the way that the clamp jaws of the tie bar functions. Tie off the loop with a small piece of string or thread. If those are not handy, use a very narrow sliver of cloth camera or gaffer's tape. Wrap the tape with the clean side facing the cable and the sticky side out. Tie the loop so that it's not overly snug and can breathe easily when tugged. This allows the loop to provide some emergency slack if talent somehow stretches in a way that would pull on the cable. The next step is to wrap a strip of soft moleskin around the body of the mic capsule. Moleskin as well as generic equivalents can be found in the foot care section of any pharmacy and even most supermarkets. Choose the standard thin sheets, not the special double thick variety. Save time on set by pre-cutting a sheet into french fry shaped strips, the same height as your lavalier body. Begin by wrapping the moleskin completely around the body of the mic sticky side against the mic and soft side facing out. Go around at least a couple times to prevent the metal safety pin from contacting the mic. Insert an open safety pin and then complete the wrap. Note that the locking guard of the pin is well secured and pointing downward. It's proper etiquette to only use a brand new clean safety pin every time you prepare the rig. Points are sharp and accidents do happen so guard against infection by not reusing dirty pins. Some sound mixers even store their safety pins in a small bottle of diluted bleach or alcohol. If you should nick your finger, don't forget that you have alcohol prep wipes in your lav rigging kit. Just as in using the sticky triangles, be careful to not seal up or block the open sound ports at the top of the mic. Once again, I'm using an AT899 Omni, but this approach will work with any top-facing lavalier. If your lavalier is a side address or side facing configuration, be very careful not to block the opening. If possible, just wrap the moleskin lower, leaving the upper portion of the mic exposed, and make sure that the safety pin will not contact the mic. For larger diameter or heavier mics, insert a second safety pin on the opposite side for additional support and to hold it snug against the clothing. These pin-on rigs are perfect for attaching to the inside of t-shirts and other closed front wardrobe. Just catch a few threads and then close the pin. For the best concealability, take advantage of logos or other design elements to distract from any visual telltales caused by pinning or taping. Don't forget to anchor and strain relief the rig by taping down the wire below the loop. Just as with our sticky tape rigs, you can go sideways under a collar or inside of a bra or halter top. Shoulder straps, neck wraps, even that towel casually draped over his shoulder at the beach or modestly wrapped around her torso after a bath. Check out some of the other videos in this series to learn more about lavaliers, including how to conceal them under wardrobe. In the video studio or on location, Audio Technica has you covered.